My family does their New Year's resolutions on Thanksgiving instead of on New Year's, but last year was the last time that we all did that together as a family before my parents' divorce. Now looking at my life through the lens of family and through holidays and my relationship with holiday traditions. I feel like for myself I have to decide whether or not I want to keep certain traditions. And personally, I think I'm not going to be keeping the resolution tradition. If I were to look back on the resolutions that I made last year, I would be astounded and exhausted by the changes that have happened. Change is already scary and weird, especially if you're the oldest sibling or the oldest child of your family and you're the first one to move out, you're the first one to move out of state even if you're me. Any kind of experiencing change at a different rate than your siblings is just very strange. This will be the first year that I'm not going home for Thanksgiving or Christmas and even if I had then my family life would have completely altered the way that the family tradition have existed in my life for decades now. So a question I've been asking is where do my family's holiday traditions stop and mine start? What does holiday cheer look like outside of the family unit in the family tradition? What was it like for my parents the first time that they didn't go home for Christmas? What did they decide to use as tradition and what did they decide to let go of? I'm very fond of some of my memories of holiday tradition. My mom has a big family and we would always go over there and do caroling and have these huge meals that would last an entire day. I'm fond of the memories of being around my dad's mom who's Filipino and would make Filipino and American dishes and some sort of mix of both of them for family holidays. I'm fond of these memories and while I'm fond of them, I still find them to be removed from me in some way. I feel like I never took responsibility for creating the festive feeling or traditions. They just felt inevitable in some way. A good example of that is that this Halloween felt completely different for me than any other Halloween in my life. I never really celebrated Halloween as a kid. And while my mom loved buying fall decorations and putting them up around the house, and while we had a lot of traditions surrounding like birthdays and Easter, the intentionality behind these events was never something I felt like I claimed. And for the first time, I'm loving someone who loves Halloween. This year, I spent the whole first week of October meticulously putting up string lights and pumpkins and Halloween decorations around my boyfriend's apartment, celebrating literally just the changing of a season. October has never felt so fall and so festive and so joyful and exciting as it did this fall when I loved someone who would pull over on the road and stop and buy apple cider for the both of us pick out fall decorations to put in my bookshelves for me, who would pick out Halloween movies for us to watch, who coordinated an entire murder mystery party with me to throw for our friends. He was simply creating joy for joy's sake, which is part of why I love him. I've never been the creator of joy for joy's sake when it comes to holidays and traditions. I've always just been a participant. But now when I'm driving around my neighborhood that I know is full of college age kids and I'm looking at the outlines of their windows filled up with Christmas lights and Christmas trees at the beginning of November, I'm thinking to myself, I almost want to cry at how hopeful and joyful it all is. I was walking around the grocery store and looking at the popcorn tins and the studio stupid sweaters and themed wrapping paper and the holiday decorations. I feel like a kid again in the sense that I'm asking myself, do you like this? Do you want this? I'm walking around the grocery store and thinking, do you want a fun treat? Do you want to buy something to decorate your house with? It finally feels like I'm not just playing house with my own life, but I'm getting to make any kind of life that I want. This year, I'm finding everything romantic and granting a kind of strange generosity to everything in the world. This morning, I woke up and read a headline about global warming and how this is the hottest year on record and how catastrophically changed the world is and how catastrophic it's going to continue to be. And there's a kind of hopelessness in reading those headlines frequently, in reading about war and genocide and injustice, and it feels like it just piles and piles and piles on. And to read all of that and then get in my car and drive to work and see Christmas lights in people's windows grants me a kind of hope and generosity for the world around me. I'm finding holidays to be so endearing now in the lens of a young adult, looking out at the life ahead of me within all the dread that I feel for 
what is to come and where the world is headed, where my country is headed, where my personal life is headed, where my own catastrophes are headed. Despite every horror and every hopeless thing, everything feels worthy of retelling. I love being 22. I love being in my 20s. My life today is so different than what my life was like a year ago. And my life a year from now will be so different than what my life is like today. I want to keep living. I want to keep creating joy just for the sake of it. I want to put up Christmas decorations. I want to celebrate every holiday as if it will be my last and I will never feel this way again because I won't. I want to stop making resolutions as if I know what's to come. I don't think I'll be carrying that tradition into my experience of holidays. I don't know what's ahead, but I do know that I love the nativity scenes that I drive by on my way to work. I know I love the holiday posters that are put up in the university English department halls. I know that I love the hope of everything, the hope of it all, the shared experiences of doing something just for the joy of it, just for the loveliness of it, just just to buy something unnecessary at the store for people to find cute and beautiful. I wrote this at the beginning of November in my journal. The grass is dead, but there are clovers peeking through the dry crackle below me. I'm jittery from several cups of coffee and my hands are dry from washing dishes and wearing gloves all morning. What will I think looking back on this fall? How strange it is to find joy in things like scooping arugula onto bread and sitting in an office room giving my opinions about the functionality of a coffee shop. I feel Feel older. Can I say that? I feel like I look back and I always feel like a baby, a fledgling still, but now not as much. I enjoy my youth, don't get me wrong. I can't imagine myself at 30 even. I say that and it scares me. All I know is I'm trying to love you, Cassie. I'm trying to take care of you. You deserve the little things. You deserve the novelties, the learning, the loving. It'll all be okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm learning to love holidays again, learning to claim them as my own, to love December, to love November, to love the winter. I'm looking at the Christmas lights and that's enough.